Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about green dot prepaid debit visa cards. And more specifically, I'm going to try to answer a question I'm beginning a lot lately. And that is, can you overdraft or why would you overdraft on your green dot prepaid debit visa card or go over the limit? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off, guys, this is going to be a really quick video. There's actually not a lot to talk about, but there are some key points that I'm going to go over that can end up saving you a lot of headache. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. And if you're not familiar with these green dot prepaid debit visa cards, basically what they are, you just buy these little cards at a local retailer. I think I bought this one at CVS. Once you buy the card, you can load cash onto it. It is reloadable, so you can use it and then reload more cash onto it. But can you overdraft on these green dot prepaid debit visa cards? And the short answer is yes, you can. It's not really a common thing that can happen because the way these cards are set up is that you load cash onto it. So let's say if you load $100 onto your green dot prepaid debit visa card, and then you go to try to buy something for $120, most of the time it's just going to be declined because you don't have enough money on your card. But there are a few things that can push you over your limit on your green dot prepaid debit visa card. And the first and most common reason to go over your limit on your green dot prepaid debit visa card is because of the monthly fees. So in order to have a green dot prepaid debit visa card, they do charge a monthly fee to have the card most of the time. So if you spend all the money on your green dot prepaid debit visa card, and you have a zero balance on it when it's time to pay your monthly fee, then that monthly fee can push you over the limit. So when you log into your account, it's going to be in the red. It's going to say negative, which is kind of a scary thing. So I did contact customer service to see what would happen if you are over limit with your monthly fees. And for what they were telling me, it's not really that big of a deal. It looks really dramatic. So I've had a lot of prepaid debit cards that went over the limit. And usually what happens if I'm not going to use the account anymore, I just tell them to go ahead and close down the account. And if it's just monthly fees afterwards, a lot of times they'll just credit it back. But what if you never call in to cancel it? Well, According to their customer service, they said that it's not something they're going to send you to collections over for the monthly fee. And once the monthly fee continues to bill and you go far enough negative, they just automatically close the account down. But just less of a headache, less stress if you just call them to close the account and that stops the monthly fee from billing. They also let me know that if you end up letting an account go over limit because of the monthly fee, it is possible if you try to open up a new account with green dot prepaid debit visa cards that they may end up declining your account because you have money owed on there. But usually if it's monthly fees, they said it's not really the case, but it is a possibility. So just kind of keep that in mind. If you're not going to use your green dot prepaid debit visa card, be sure to call them and cancel it. And that way it stops the monthly fee from billing. But there is another second, more common way that people go over limit on their green dot prepaid debit visa card, and that's usually at the gas stations. And the reason for that is because the gas stations run the transaction in kind of a strange way because they don't actually know how much gasoline you're going to pump into your car when you show up there at the pump. So most machines there are usually set up to run an authorization for $50 or $75. So if you have that amount in your green dot prepaid debit visa card, it's going to go through and that's just going to open up the pump. So we'll use the $50 authorization as an example. Let's say you have one of these big semi trucks or maybe a large gas tank vehicle and you pull up to the pump and you have $55 on your green dot prepaid debit visa card. When you swipe this card at the pump, if they only authorize $50, then it's going to open up the pump. But if you run the card for maybe $75 or $80, what's going to happen is the gas station is going to push that authorization through for the larger dollar amount. And remember, you only had about $55 on there, so you will be overdraft by $30. Now, in that particular situation, I did ask them if this is something they're going to send you to collections about. And they said, no, it's not really anything they do with the credit bureaus or collections, but they still expect you to pay that additional amount back if you pumped it at the gas station. Now you might be thinking, well, it's a prepaid card. I don't really need to pay it back. And you're mostly right. But they did say that if it looks intentional and you decide to open up a new account with Green Dot, that it is possible that they do not approve your new Green Dot prepaid debit visa card. So if you think you might have one of these accounts in the future, whether it's one month, two months, or two years later, then you might want to go ahead and pay that negative amount. So as you can see, it's not really a common thing to go overdraft with your green dot prepaid debit visa card, but it is possible in those particular situations. Now, if you went overdraft on your green dot prepaid debit visa card in a different manner, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know what happened. That way we know how to avoid going over limit. 
Well, hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.